time for the deep dive. We continue the AFC North. Cincinnati Bengals, eight and a half wins under minus 135. Last year, six, nine, and one straight up, seven and nine ATS, 10 and six to the under. Three and four heading to the London game against Washington. Blew a late lead, ended up in a tie. Three, four, and one heading into the break. Then lost three in a row after the bye. All hell broke loose. Not a, not a pretty, uh, they didn't end the season well as the wheels came off late, Teddy. Well, it was actually, their December wasn't bad. It was November. It was post-bye that everything fell apart. That three-game skid. You know, they, they went at three and four, and they had that Redskins game, and they had a decent schedule. They were favored in two of the three games they lost right after the bye. Uh, but the fact they didn't win any of those contests, you know, three, seven, and one heading into December, uh, and the rest of the season is garbage time for a squad that, again, uh, people forget how consistently good the Bengals were under Andy Dalton. They made the playoffs each of the first, first uh, five years in the league. Last year, the first year that it was garbage time by December, and much of that was schedule. You know, a big reason why we didn't like Cincinnati last year was their schedule was brutal. We'll talk about that a little bit later. And... They were riddled with injuries. The key guys, not the second-tier players, they lost a bunch of their stars for extended stretches last year that really cost them, and certainly in terms of their ability uh, to run the offense that they were hoping to run. Dangerous combination, Dalton and Lewis. Horrible. Never won a playoff game. Why is he still the coach? Mainstream stats, 20 takeaways, 17 giveaways, plus three turnover margin offense, 5.8. Four yards per play on offense, average four yards per rush, below average, 7.5 yards per pass. That was 10th, 41 sacks allowed near the bottom. Defense, 83.1 QB rigging allowed. That was fifth, 33 sacks. League average, 4.4 yards per rush allowed, below average. I like Ross and love the Washington program, but that was a taking him top 10. Jesus, calm down. Joe Mixon, a risky pick in the second round. I like the Willis pick out of Kansas State as well. Offensive line had a ton of issues, Teddy. What do you think of the O-line and the running game? They have weapons, though. Well, that's just it. I mean, remember, prior to last year, one of the things we didn't like this team is they lost two huge weapons. There's a Marvin Jones and Muhammad Sanu, and they missed both guys last year. And then the running backs, you know, uh, Giovanni Bernard was banged up, uh, and, you know, it really hasn't panned out for them. They've spent a lot of draft capital on running backs, and it certainly wasn't an area of strength for them last year. The, again, you, you say what, what you want about a guy's character off the field. Joe Mixon, as a talented back, I thought it was a steal uh, at number 48. And John Ross, what's a guy got a 4.22 uh, 40? You know, those type of weapons, when you think about Green on one side, Tyler Eifert, and then Mixon, and then Ross, you know, Andy Dalton's got some weapons to work with, but <laughs> does he have an offensive line that can protect him? Again, they lost their two best offensive linemen in free agency, the left tackle Andre Whit uh, on, on Andrew Whitworth uh, and the right guard uh, Kevin Zietler. A and all of the, you know, they, they were planning on this back in 2005, their, uh, 2015, their top two picks were both on the offensive line, you know, uh, Abuchi and Fisher, and both those guys have basically stunk it up uh, in the league. Uh, you know, Fisher couldn't uh, beat out Eric Winston uh, Abuti uh, was uh, pretty much a disaster at right tackle last season. And in the draft this year, the only lineman they, put, uh, they picked was J.J. Dealman out of Utah, a fifth rounder, a development guy. So coming into the season, from a skill position standpoint, this team's way better than they were last year. From an offensive line standpoint, on paper, they're a heck of a lot worse. Got to protect him. When he's pressured, his QBR is 9.9. The only passer over that time frame with a worse QBR under pressure is the Sanchez. Sanchez, minimum 200 attempts. His career high at QB, QBR was 106.3. Last year, 91.8. Uh, well, QB rating, whatever. A six-year start, only missed three games in his career. So they have the weapons on offense. You know, Ross, Green, and Eifert could be a tough combination, not to mention Mixon and Hill running the ball as well. Let's talk about the SOS. Yeah, sure. Big drop-off from last year in terms of toughness. Last year, their schedule was brutal, and it was brutal early. Remember that stretch? Uh, I believe it started week three. They had Pittsburgh and Denver and Miami and Dallas and New England, uh, you know, and back-to-back-to-back-to-back-to-back. To back to back to back to back. They only won one of those games, and that sent them spiraling downward. They were in the top quartile of the NFL in toughness last year. This year, below-average toughness 
And from a strength of schedule standpoint, it is the single easiest schedule in the division. From that standpoint, Cincinnati has it a lot easier in 2017 than they did in 2016. I'm looking at late November where they can make some noise. Cleveland at home, Pittsburgh at home is tough. Then Chicago, Minnesota, Detroit, and Baltimore. That is doable if they get up to a good start. Yeah, I mean, this Bengals team, we didn't like them at all last year. And I've got big concerns on the offensive line. This is a team I'm going to watch a lot in the preseason. I want to see how that OL looks. If it looks decent, if it looks like they can protect Andy Dalton, the Bengals will be a legitimate choice to go over the total this year, even though I cashed a ticket betting them under their season win total last year. Hey guys, for the full video, go to sbrpicks.com. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now not to mention a visit to our industry-leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.